I want to ask you about Hyperloop. If you get Hyperloop in, you're going to be able to move <laughs> around much more quickly. Tell us more about where you are with this project, how it's going to work, and, and what's driving it, and what do you expect to gain from it? Well, uh, we love getting involved in cutting edge technologies, whether it's sending people to space, whether it's putting people on Virgin cruise ships, whether it's um, flying people around the world. Um, uh, Virgin Hyperloop is one of the yeah, more exciting cutting edge technologies we've ever got involved in. Um, it's been developed out in uh, the Las Vegas, just outside Las Vegas in, in the desert there. Um, it's basically a giant tunnel. Uh, inside that tunnel, uh, there will be a train that will be on, which will levitate on using magnetic, uh, 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 magnetic traction, and uh, it will go up to speeds of something like 700 miles an hour. So it'll go quicker than an aeroplane, um, and it can carry cargo and it can carry people. Um, so if you just take a little country like Great Britain. Um, you know, we can take people from Scotland to Edinburgh or Scotland to Glasgow to, um, sorry, Scotland to, <laughs> to London uh, or vice versa um, for about four, in about 45 minutes. Uh, today it takes about five hours. Um, and uh, so it, it can be transformative for, um, for, for, a, con for a country. Um, if you take um, cargo, um, you know, the ports, uh, are full of lorries coming in and out of ports um, on pa possibly very valuable real estate. Uh, you know, we could actually unload the cargo in an island just off the port, whisk it 20 miles inland in no time at all, um, and then the lorries can go 20 miles inland and all that valuable uh, space on the uh, ports can be turned into houses or mm -hmm. other, other things. So, um, so I think it, it, it's, it's a a really, really, really exciting thing, and we're, we're proud to be involved with it. How expensive will it be to actually build something like this? It'll be a lot cheaper, we believe, than building, you know, conventional rail, railway networks. Um, and of course, conventional railway networks have a, l a lot of uh, intrinsic problems attached to them, uh, and and you don't go that fast on them. So, um, so I think that um, you know we, 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 we you know we'll be able to. Uh, ferry passengers a lot more cheaply than aeroplanes um, and you know in time I think you know more, you know the price could come down much closer to a normal railway network than um, than an air, airline. How much would a ticket cost me do you think when it gets when it gets when it actually gets started? Um, I, I, you know, it's somewhere somewhere between the price of a train ticket and an airline ticket, but you'll you'll get there okay. and much much quicker. How difficult in this day and age? You've got to obviously it's going over. It's close to the ground still. It can be either under the ground. It could be uh, it could be up in the air. Uh, it could be alongside a railway railway line. Um, it could be alongside a uh, a water wa you know a, a, a waterways. Um, uh, it could be above a waterway. See, I mean, there's a lot of different places that you can put it. Hmm. So you wouldn't have to worry so much about right of ways and obtaining those and paying no, for all no, that. No, I mean, it, I think, I think again, we, we we ought to be able to be. It ought to be a lot easier for us than for a conventional rail line that that has to you know, knock down houses and things to get places. And is it something that you'll look for? Or you'll you want? This is going to be purely a Virgin Group investment. Well, will you yeah, no, we, there are there are other investors uh, in Virgin Hyperloop. And, um, and we'll be bringing in other, other investors in too. Um, Virgin operates trains, so we're the biggest train operator, for instance, in the UK. We, we took the West Coast Main Line, we, we uh, used to have seven million people using it, now we have nearly 40 million people using it. Um, but, you know, that is getting to capacity, so um, Hyperloop would be the perfect answer to deal with our capacity problems. Um, the British government are also building an, another line, but we think you know, there's room for there's room for both. Where do you think you'd like to launch the first one? Um, I always like I'm always in a hurry. I'm getting old enough, um, <laughs> so um, you know. But I think uh, I'd be surprised if you don't have a, a Virgin Hyperloop set up somewhere in the world uh, within within three to four years' time.